Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. Huge, huge Dollar Tree haul full of lots of really cute items. Um, spring is in full bloom at the Dollar Tree and all over me as well because I love when I find beautiful spring items to liven up your household on a super, super cheap budget. Um, the first item that I can't wait to share with you guys, actually I have tons of florals to share with you guys, but this one takes the cake, you guys. It literally takes the cake. It's not the first time I've seen it, but I absolutely love this pick. I absolutely love, 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 love this pick. Now, if you guys were paying attention to my words, you'll realize that I said pick. Can you believe that this is just one, one pick from the Dollar Tree? Look at all the different components. It has this gorgeous, gorgeous butterfly, these cute pink flowers. Okay, they need a little zhuzhing. What I do is I put my florals, I spray them with water, and then I smoosh them down in order to kind of get them to look a little better because sometimes they get wonky in the box. Look at the center of this beautiful flower. It looks like a dried flower. Doesn't that look very legit? And so this component is in here as well. Really beautiful. So it has like four different components. Normally, you would have to buy four different items to get that. So I feel like this is $5 worth of flowers for just $1.25. Because you know what? If you wanted to make this little arrangement, and let's say you didn't want to use all of the items, but put it in a small vase, well, you can do it for $1.25 now. Look at what you can get for $2.50, you guys. I didn't take the label off yet, but for $2.50, because this gorgeous vase is also from the Dollar Tree. I did buy another one that's more of a yellow color. I don't know where it is right now, but this one is the purpley one, and I am in love, in love with this pick and this vase. But if you really want to take it to a whole new level, depending on where you're going to put it, because it's a little bit sparse on the other end, you could just pick up two and really, really fill it, fill it, fill it. But I'm going to actually cut the pieces off of the pick to really put them where I want them. But I think you get a lot, a lot for your money. But I, I really think that for $250 or $375, you're really getting a lot for your money. And can we just talk about how beautiful this vase is? I know you guys have probably seen it already, but there's so many things you could do with this vase. It reminds me of I Dream of Jeannie. It plays in my head every time I pick it up. I need a bunch of wishes, so I wouldn't mind if there was really a genie in this bottle. It's gorgeous. Isn't this gorgeous? It's so ethereal. I absolutely love this vase. This is the nicest glass I've ever seen Dollar Tree make. By far, hands down, the most beautiful glass object they've ever, ever made. I'm obsessed with that. Absolutely obsessed. Then, you guys, I did pick up an excessive amount of florals because they make me really happy. I love Black Eyed Susans in real life, and I think that these pink and white Black Eyed Susans are absolutely realistic looking. I think everything here looks very real, and I do plan on making my hot cocoa bar into like a spring drink center and I'm going to decorate the baskets up above with these pretty spring florals. Let me show you guys what I chose. I just think that they're really, really beautiful and they look very realistic. So you get five of the Black Eyed Susans in white from Floral Garden. And they are very, very gorgeous. But these pink ones, and these are hard to find. Every store I went to, it seemed like somebody had bought almost all of them. And I bought the rejects, but like, see, that one's just a little unjudged. But even the rejects are great. So I did get a couple of the pink ones. Like I said, they're hard to find, but I love them. They're so, so beautiful. And again, I love it when the centers have like a nice, realistic dried flower type of look that makes them look more high-end in my opinion 
Then I did pick up one of these fern. Now these really do need a lot of fluffing and work to make them look good. And I find that the best way to use the fern is to take each pick off and put it exactly where you want it. But once you maneuver it and you angle it so that the good side sticks out visually, those look very good in floral arrangements and I really like them. Then you guys, I did buy a bunch of the farmhouse witch hazel bush. These are so whimsical. I really, I really like them. They look like underwater sea creatures, but they're made of plastic. You could put these outside even if you want to put them in your planters before seeds start to sprout and stuff. These are all plastic floral, not the black eyed Susans, but these which are called farmhouse wax flower bush they come in a few different tones and the witch hazel bush those are plastic florals so they can literally survive outside and look gorgeous for a really long time so i picked up all of those florals to do my pretty spring arrangement in my hot cocoa area but aren't those beautiful florals like i'm very, very happy with my choices and really happy with some of the choices the Dollar Tree is offering us. But that one, that one takes the cake, you guys. All of that for a dollar twenty-five plus a beautiful vase for another dollar twenty-five. You can't beat it. Florals at the Dollar Tree right now are definitely, definitely beautiful. Here's some more floral type stuff. I love these pens. They're flower pens. They're so cute. Such an adorable little novelty. I could not pass them up. They've had them before and I always buy them and I always end up giving them away and never keep any for myself. And they are so super duper cute. So these I'm keeping. Then I picked up one of these plastic makeup brush holders. They're really, really pretty as well. You guys see those cutouts? Very nice. Plastic for the bathroom or wherever you want to put it. So it's not going to break. I like that it's plastic. You, you can, you don't have to use this for makeup brushes. You can use it for pens, put it on your desk. You could do whatever you want with it. It does come in two other colors, but I chose blue. Now that we're moving into spring and the days are getting longer, so we're not going to need to use as much light. I guess the light bulb companies decided to discount their light bulbs and the Dollar Tree is blooming with light bulbs as well. But these halogen bulbs actually are expensive at Home Depot. They don't cost me $1.25. I was really happy to get them. They work really well in my kitchen fixtures and I have to order these usually and I think that they're $7.99 um, for a pack of two if I'm correct, but $1.25 for one it sounds like a deal to me. I picked up six of these because whenever they burn out in my kitchen, I always end up picking something else and then they constantly burn out because it's the fixtures in my kitchen are really made for these light bulbs, the halogen light bulbs, and these work the best. So I was really, really excited to find these for $1.25. What's more summer and spring than a really clean, beautiful white pocket tea? This whole entire haul is reading spring and summer to me. But when I see a t-shirt like this, I don't know, it's on the back for some reason. But when I see a t-shirt like this, a white pocket tee in a good size for my family, I can't help but pick it up. This is a size extra large. Um, it's Gildan Smart Basics, but $1.25 for a really nice cotton t-shirt. It's not like undershirt material. You could wear it on the outside. It's a great buy any day because they're honestly not $1.25 even at Walmart. A pack of t-shirts that are thinner than those when you break it down is not $1.25. So I am always happy to get t-shirts for the boys for a buck and a quarter. And then you guys look at these. Can you guys just take a look at this? How cute are these little crossbodies? I am obsessed with this print right here and also this butterfly print. And if you don't want to use this bag as a crossbody, I actually like them as crossbodies. I like to keep them in my pocketbook with some of my essentials right in there, like my credit card, like my handy dandy Dollar Tree phone case turn credit card case and, you know, maybe my sunglass case and... I don't know, maybe a package of my receipts or whatever else I really need, my phone. And when I don't want to take my whole pocketbook into a store, 
if I'm going to be doing a lot of shopping, I could just pull this out and leave my bag in the car and take this in with me and do it in style. How nice is that? I love these little messenger bags. I find them to be very, very useful. And I do find myself using them often. They do wear out after a while and then you pick up another one. But at $1.25, it's a great deal, guys. Since you guys saw these, I may as well reshare them. I just constantly keep picking up more and more of these neoprene pencil pouches. They make great sunglass cases. You guys know I have a lot of sunglasses. Sometimes I leave them in different purses, my sunglasses, or different cars. And I also picked up quite a few as giveaways for the future that I'm going to do on my channel. And also so that the women who get the sunglasses at the shelter that I drop them off to, you know, the first ones to come might be lucky enough to get a case as well. I can't find tons of these to buy enough for all the sunglasses, but whenever I see them, I scoop more up because these are just absolutely amazing sunglass cases. They're not supposed to be sunglass cases, but if you like bigger sunglasses like I do, they're great for that. You could use these for other things as well, though. You could put tampons in here, maxi pads, whatever essentials that you might want to add to this. It's also a good thing for that. I did pick up a pack of these hair rollers. You get six for $1.25, not to use as hair rollers. Um, I want to make a ring tray. And I also picked up this picture frame. Um, you could use pretty much any four by six picture frame with this pack of rollers. And then there's a fatter pack of rollers that you could use a different frame with. Perhaps you guys have already seen this little life hack, but you guys may have already seen this hack. But I'm going to just share it because I really needed another ring holder. Um, so you buy a picture frame that you like from the Dollar Tree. Take the glass out immediately, especially if you're me. Take the glass out and keep it as far away from yourself as possible. Put the, uh, and you could even put like a lining. If you want to, if you want to really do it up, you can paint this or decoupage it. But more than likely, it won't be visible to the naked eye. Just put it back in there so it has solid bottom. Then you take these. Easy peasy, guys. You know, you know Marina does not like complicated DIYs. So you just take the rollers, one, two, three, and you put them in here. If you have to glue them in, you can. There it is. Once you give it a little squish, it um, kind of goes underneath. And then it is a perfect ring holder. You can actually give the cardboard underneath a little spray paint, which I might do. And that's perfect. Perfect ring holder. I do have lots of novelty rings. And for $2.50, this is a really cute ring holder. And you can actually um, leave it, which is what I really like. You leave this part up and you can put it on your dresser and you can just select your rings according to your outfit. How cute is that for $2.50? I love it. I think I'm going to spray paint the inside there gold. I do have a can of gold spray paint to give it a little extra something. But you didn't. I didn't even have to glue it in. You just push them in. And when I'm not on camera, I'm going to push it in more. I don't want to break the frame. But it, it does work, you guys. I don't want to break the frame, but it does work. You just push them underneath. And if you pick a different frame where you can't squeeze them in, you could use some adhesive, no big deal, but it's a very easy, super cute little DIY for $2.50. I don't know what in the world I was thinking when I first saw these that I just bought one. I really don't because I love them all and absolutely love Stargazer. That is my favorite, favorite one. I really love what it says, how it looks, the color, everything about it. I love the little added tab. It's so beautiful. And then this one says, Made of Stars. I love that. Love it. It's like that song, We Are All Made of Stars. I'm trying to remember what song that is, but I love it. And then, oh my stars. Oh my stars. Look at that color. I love, 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 love that one. I kind of like them all. That's why I can't pick one. I can't believe that I didn't buy them all at first. I don't know what I was thinking. And this one is called Dream Chaser. How gorgeous is that? So these will probably be in future giveaways. I think the reason that I didn't buy them in the beginning is because I really do have a bunch of makeup bags, but I am going to be doing for Mother's Day a few makeup bags 
for a certain shelter, not full on a ton of shelters, but for just one shelter that is smaller, I'm going to be doing individualized makeup bags. So I picked these up. And I probably will do, uh, I picked up a few sets of these actually. I probably will do a giveaway with one of them, but the rest of them I'll, I'm going to end up making goodie bags for Mother's Day for a specific smaller size shelter. Then I did get these nail wraps because it has been brought to my attention by my friend Denise from Denise's Halls that these work really well. And then Constance picked them up from Butterfly Mom's Creations and she said they were really good too because... My experience so far with Be Pure is that I don't love everything they make. And um, these nail wraps actually are pretty good because they have a wider nail bed. Um, the Kiss nails, although I love their styles, some of them weren't sticky. And also they were really narrow. And I hate that because I actually do have a wide thumbnail, as you guys can see. It is wide, just like the rest of me, but I was born with these fingernail sizes. So, um, yeah, I need a nail that covers my whole nail bed. And these stickers work really, really well. They're actually sticky, so don't hesitate to pick them up. You get 12 for a buck 25, and they have this pretty, pretty style. And look at this style. And you know what? If you don't want to do all of your nails with nail stickers, you can polish some of them with accent nails or use just some as accent nails, which I like to do sometimes as well. And then look at that pack. It's like um, almost like a giraffe print, but in mauve. So interesting. Really, really pretty. And then this one is my absolute favorite. Look at that. Yep. Love it. Love, love, love that one. I can't wait to use those. So for $1.25, I thought those were a great deal. And although these Kiss nails are not as wide as I like them to be, as accent nails, they'll work because I can use maybe one of the wider ones that they think would be good for my thumb for, you know, a different finger as an accent nail. And those are gorgeous. So I did pick up another pack of those. I showed these before, but I rebought them because I want to at some point do a nail giveaway and I wanted one for myself as well. So I ended up with two of these. Dollar Tree is selling this. Dollar Tree is selling this amazing Avion sparkling water. I don't even like sparkling water and I can drink this. I don't know why, but this is delicious. It's got no fake sugar crapola in it because I don't like fake sugar drinks. I like this though. If you Put it on ice. It's really delicious. It has lime and ginger flavoring in this box. There are six cans in here for a buck and a quarter. And if you go into your Dollar Tree and they've split this up, speak to the manager. Because some stores are splitting it up and that's not how it's supposed to be sold. It's supposed to be sold this entire six pack for $1.25. I was very, very disappointed to see that some stores busted it up because we're paying enough for everything. They can give us what we're entitled to. And I did complain in the stores where they opened it because that's not cool. This specific flavor is called Feed Your Mind. There are two other flavors, a cucumber melony one and a raspberry one. But I happen to find the lime and ginger one that has magnesium and zinc added to it. That's amazing. Magnesium is really good to have in your diet. Honestly, I'm really excited about finding this in the Dollar Tree. This is in the stores right now for $6.50 a case. I saw this in the store. Like, I saw this in, um, I think, CVS or Stop and Shop for $6.50 a box. So this is an amazing bargain at Dollar Tree. For some of my Easter basket stuffing, I bought several bags of these bubblegum pops. You get 27 bubblegum pops for $1.25. That's a great deal. And actually, these taste good. I opened it up. My son tasted a couple, and he said that they're good. They're not weird candy. They are by the brand Arcor, A-R-C-O-R. And something that's really important to me is that on the back of the package, it does not say that it contains genetically modified parts. I am finding more and more that a lot of candy at the Dollar Tree, on the back of it, it says made with genetically modified parts. And I would prefer if I buy my bags of candy and they don't say that. Maybe they even do have genetically modified stuff in there. I'd rather not know about it. 
when I see that warning on the back of something, I get really turned off and I don't want to buy it. So that doesn't say it. It doesn't seem to be genetically modified. It has pure cane sugar in it. And that's good enough for me at this time. Another really exciting item that turned up in the Dollar Trees lately are these Global Beauty Care Black Masks Peel Off Charcoal Infused Face Masks by Global Beauty Care 5 Ounce. 5 Ounce, you guys, by Global Beauty Care. I already love their charcoal infused masks, but a 5 Ounce tube for $1.25, that's my cat. She decided to show us all her butt. Meow, meow. <laughs> the cat is waving her butt at us right now. But to get all of this for $1.25, I was thrilled. And I hope that we see other 5-ounce Global Beauty Care or spa scription items at the Dollar Tree. Because that is a great, great buy, you guys. That's a nice gift for $1.25. I ended up buying, I actually bought an entire case of these. Because I think that adding one bar of this to each kid's goodie bag for Easter is not a bad deal. They're $1.25 for four because this is really, really good high-end chocolate made in Germany and Poland. And look at the packaging. It's really delicious chocolate. It's not like Palmer. It tastes more like Cadbury. So I picked up, like I said, a whole case of these. Um, I think they're gorgeous for Easter Um Ba I think they're absolutely gorgeous for Easter baskets, for candy dishes in your house, but these are good to give away. They're not a bad deal at $1.25. I need another wallet, like I need a hole in the head, but I couldn't resist this. If they had tons of these, I would have bought them to put in Easter baskets. That's how cute they are, but they only had one left, and I picked it up, and I'm either going to give it to my neighbor next door, or I'm going to keep it for myself. I can't decide. Look at how adorable this little hanging key fob is i was actually thinking of attaching this to my keychain and then you know sometimes you need to remember to have something with you or put your spare key in here or something so i might actually just attach this to my keychain since it has a key fob but this is really really a cute little coin purse i did find and pick up two of the dove men's care clean comfort 24-hour protection aluminum free deodorant this deodorant is aluminum free which is amazing 1.7 ounces and i also found the women's dove original clean aluminum free deodorant and it's a moisturizing cream 24 hour protection as well for a dollar 25 aluminum free deodorant has started to become like the way of the dollar tree which is very exciting it is a roller ball in here I absolutely love that it's aluminum free. It has a really, really beautiful scent to it. It's way stronger of a scent than you would expect a deodorant to have, to be honest. It has a really delightful scent. It's kind of stronger than a deodorant normally has fragrance wise. So if you don't like a lot of fragrance, you may not like this deodorant. It's kind of like jasmine and honeysuckle. I like it. I think it smells it smells really nice. It smells really sweet, but it's definitely stronger than normal for deodorant. But I like that. And I think that these are really great deals. I picked up one of this and two of these for the boys. And I didn't realize how much I would like them or I probably would have bought a few more. I did pick up this really cute kitty trinket tray. Um, I actually just love it. I really don't need anything like this, but I don't pick these type of things up all that often, but I think it's super cute. And it does sort of look really cute with my new ring holder. So I could put like my bracelets or earrings in here at night if I'm falling asleep and my rings in here and they complement each other. So I definitely really was happy to pick that up. When we went to Staten Island, I was shocked at how many brand name nail polishes they had there that I've never seen here. I picked up several, several polishes because you guys know I have weaknesses and polishes and sparkly polishes are one of them. This Menthos Sally Hansen Insta Dry Polish is a really pretty, perfectly perfect color for the spring. Um... And they also had this Sally Hansen sparkly. Do you guys see that this one has like a shimmer to it? So when I use this polish, I can use both of these, you know, on alternating fingers. 
and also use this gorgeous, really beautiful sparkle, Mentos colored sparkles. Do you guys see that? I'm trying to get it to focus. Aren't those so good? Look at that. I love that. Love, 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 love it. And of course, I'll probably also do like a baby blue fingernail and it'll be like a whole entire hodgepodge of nail colors, but I love when I do that. So expect to see my nails with those colors in the spring. And then I had to pick this up. Look at that. It's like winter green lifesavers, but in a mento nail polish. Isn't that fun? Super fun. I love that. And then I also picked this Sally Hansen polish up called Hallow Green, like Halloween, but Hallow Green. And I have to say that I love this. I love this green. It reminds me of like the stems of floral, even though this would be great for Halloween. It would also be fun to do like bright magenta and green. So your nails kind of look like spring colors. Um, I don't know. I really like this green color. So I was not going to pass it up. I love polishes. They also had this by Ardell. And it is it is a pro brow building fiber gel for eyebrows that are dark brown. I love when eyebrow treatments have this little wand like mascara. But I think that this color may be a little dark for me. So I'm going to pass it on to a friend or put it in a giveaway. But I had to pick it up to show you guys that this is a really good product. Um, Ardell does not sell for $1.25 anywhere. It's actually a pretty pricey brand. So to see this in the Dollar Tree is really surprising me. Um, I think it's a little bit more expensive than hard candy even. So I was shocked to find that at the Dollar Tree. Next, you guys, I picked up another one of these Be Better Sakura Sensation Liquid Hand Soaps. Um, this is the hand soap. The other one that I shared with you guys was the shower gel by Be Better in this scent. And I've also found the Rainforest Green one in hand soap and hand lotion. But you guys, this stuff smells so good. It smells like uh, black tea and then aromatics. It just smells so, so good that I absolutely cannot leave anything like this on the shelf. Whenever I see anything on the shelf by this brand Be Better, I pick it up because it is really high quality. Look at how thick and luxurious that soap is. It lathers up beautifully. The shower gel is delightful. Number one, I absolutely love that the hand soap comes with a pump because I can actually put it on the shower gel until I'm ready to use this hand soap and swap it out because shower gel with a pump makes the shower gel even more amazing. So I'm so happy they brought this to the Dollar Tree. I finally got my hands on these stickers and the funny thing is they were actually in my Dollar Tree but I just kept missing them. I don't know whether my brain is not like wired to look for stickers or what the deal is with that but I kept walking right past them even though I was looking for these and um I did really like I picked two up I actually picked up two of the coffee stickers as well as two of the flower stickers I think that these pretty pretty coffee stickers may be in a giveaway really soon look at how pretty that is to put on your to-go cup how cute are those for iced coffee, really cute. And then these are absolutely drop dead gorgeous. I literally love these. There are actually two different styles of the water bottle stickers for the stickers. Um, I have noticed that since I found them that there are two different color variations. One is lighter, one is darker, but there were several, several of each color so I kind of like that and I picked up one of each because one will be probably in the giveaway and the other one I bought for myself to embellish one of my favorite uh, iced coffee cups. It's like a double wall metal stainless steel purple cup. So these flowers, th probably this one will look really great with the purple cup and the other one will be in a giveaway. But I had to pick up both color varieties just to show them to you guys. I was so, I was so excited when I saw this on the shelf, you guys. Do you see this? It says it has three-day treatment, six strips, 
ultimate white whitening dental strips infused with coconut oil, but it helps aid with sensitivity. I don't understand what kind of magic lies within this tooth whitening system, but anything that helps aid with tooth sensitivity and whitens teeth sounds impossible. Honestly, when I first saw it, I felt like it was too good to be true. And I, I picked up three boxes of this. I already have one open in my bathroom and I did try it, although I didn't leave it on my teeth for 30 minutes because I was a little nervous that it was not true and that I would end up getting my teeth to hurt me because I have super sensitive teeth and gums. I left it on for 10 minutes. It's been about two days and I can honestly say that I've been drinking ice cold drinks and really hot drinks and I haven't experienced any sensitivity. So I'm going to do it again tonight for 30 minutes this time. Uh, 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 uh. I'm going to do it again tonight and see if I get really good results because I just cut it short the first time just to make sure that it wasn't going to hurt my teeth. But so far, so good, guys. That's a pretty awesome expectation out of a whitening product. I've actually never seen any say that they help aid with sensitivity and whiten teeth. In fact, most dentists tell you if you have sensitive teeth not to do whitening treatments. So this is some sort of magic box of happiness. And it says that you can expect to see results in as little as three days, you guys. So yeah, I picked up three boxes and I can't wait to see what comes out of that. Um, this is definitely worth a buck and a quarter. By RVO Lip Revolution, I picked up a pack of this vanilla bean lip balm. This stuff works really, really well. It's not a Greenbrier product. It softens and moisturizes with vitamin E and aloe. And honestly, I love all kinds of chapsticks and lip balms. I'm always using them. But I have to say that the ones by Yes Studio have me sold. Um, I did buy this to try it because vanilla sounds really good in the summer. And it does have vitamin E and aloe. And I have liked the Revolution lip balms in the past. But these, you guys, these, every time I see them, I pick up another set. These are incredible. The peach, the pear, and the cranberry lip balm by Arrow Postal, uh, the Pucker Up, Power Pout, and Babe Balm. Each and every one of these are delightful. Let me show you guys what they look like inside the packaging. I did share those before, but I'm going to share them once more. Because when I say that I'm not kidding, that I love it, look, that is already practically gone. Do you guys see that? That's the full tube. I went through it. That's the cranberry. It's amazing. Now the pucker up peach. See how much I already used and I'm already using it, you guys. I can't stop using it. It's so moisturizing. They smell really good. The packaging is really satisfying. If you see these guys, pick them up and give them as gifts. Save them for a holiday. These are amazing. Do not pass these up. They're my favorite lip balm that I have ever, ever bought at the Dollar Tree. Then, you guys, I have some really exciting lip finds to share with you. I know that these Flower Beauty lip butters are out there, but I haven't been fortunate to find all the colors. Of course, I never find the reds. It's so frustrating. I never find the reds. I don't know why, but we did find these in Staten Island, which is still New York, and Dollar Tree never brings the reds to New York. What do they think? That we all wear nude lipstick in New York? So this um, Ultimate Lip Butter, which is UL1, is in the color, is in the color Petal Pout. It's a very pale, I actually opened it ahead of time, because it's so hard to open Flower Beauty. It's in a really pale, really light, really pretty lip butter color. Because these are not really like lipsticks. They're lip butters. So they're kind of like sheer, almost lip gloss, but a little bit better than lip gloss. But I actually, and they smell good. I love Flower Beauty by Drew Barrymore. And um, I actually love the Hydra Silk Lip Butters. I love them. They did have a bunch of them in the past, and now they're getting them in again, but again, not in my general area. We had to go to Staten Island to find them, but I love that one. That is like the type of color that I would put on if I wasn't really wearing any makeup other than like foundation, mascara, and just a little lip butter to go out 
to run like errands on a day when I didn't feel like wearing a lot of makeup. I like to wear like a nude lip like that, just a completely, like almost like I'm not wearing makeup, but I actually am because I just feel better when I have makeup on and my lips feel moisturized. It's very moisturizing. Everything I've ever bought by Flower Beauty, I have to say, I pretty much love. Then if you guys remember, there were, there are a lot of Iman lipsticks out there one of which I had to return to the store because it was gross. My absolute favorite Iman lipstick so far was the color called Hot. That's like an orange lipstick. I've been wearing it. It didn't have a smell. It wasn't spoiled, and I loved it. I believe the one called Sweet Tea or Sweetened Iced Tea, that one was spoiled, and I literally returned all that I bought. I opened one on camera, and it was no good. But there are several other colors that have been brought to our Dollar Trees. So I'm going to swatch them all because I'm really curious to see if any other ones are spoiled. And I'm still on the hunt for the red one called Iman Red. And there's another really pretty color. It's like a berry color called Diva. That's also out there, but I haven't found that one yet. But it's like a scavenger hunt, guys. They do have this shade called Baby Doll. That's the color. We're going to swatch this one next. It's like a nude. It's a pretty color, actually. It's like a, ooh. This one does not smell, and it is like the lip butter, only it's an actual lipstick. That's a nice color for, you know, casual day wear. I like that. No odor, thank goodness, because I'm really cautious of that. Then we have the shade called Opal 012. Is it focusing? That's the color there. We're going to open this up and see what that's like. This looks like a really dark color. Um, it may be too dark for me, but I'm going to swatch it just to see. You can always blend it with a lighter color. A dark, dark chocolate. It's like a coffee colored lipstick. It looks really, really matte. Let's try that one out. Oh my word, that is a really dark lipstick. This one also has no odor. Thankfully, this one has no odor. Opal is really pretty. That is a nice winter color. It's actually gorgeous. Do you guys see that? Wow, that's a beautiful color. I really like that. The Amon lipsticks are actually really nice. It's a shame that one of them was spoiled. The fact that one of them was spoiled kind of did leave a bad taste in my mouth, but you know what? I've recovered since then, so that is a very cool color. Now we have this one, which is like the opposite side of the spectrum. This one is called Iman Nude, which is funny because that's like what I consider a nude is that one, that peachy color. We're about to find out what Iman considers nude if I could get this open <laughs> because... They're really sealed really well. So this is the Iman Nude right there. I feel like I would use Iman Nude as contour <laughs> more than I would ever use it as lipstick. It's just not a color that I would wear as lipstick. You could probably blend it with something else to make a pretty color. But to me, that first one was more of a nude than the Iman Nude. But they do have it out there if you like that color. So that's Opal and Baby Doll the Flower Beauty Lip Butter, and that is the Iman Nude, which out of all of them, the Iman Nude is my least favorite so far. And then we have one more. It's called Rebel. There it is right there. We're going to check that out. So this one is Rebel with the beautiful Iman imprinted in the front. They all have the word Iman imprinted in the tip of the lipstick. I just love that. I really love everything about the Iman. Uh-oh. The Rebel is spoiled. It's not a good lipstick. That's it right there. It comes on clumpy and it does have a terrible odor. Those are no good. But all the other lipsticks that I found so far are great. So it turns out I made a mistake. Rebel is the one that was spoiled. Sweet iced tea I like and is in my bathroom. And Rebel is the one that was spoiled. It's a beautiful dark metallic lipstick with a horrible odor, smells terrible, it goes on clumpy, it's very old. But every single other lipstick, including Poor Sweet Tea, because that one, there was nothing wrong with it, um, 
I love all of them. So hot and sweet tea were good. I don't want to ruin sweet tea's good name, you guys. Sweet tea was good and hot were good. Those colors were good. And so are Iman Nude, which is that one. And Opal and... And Opal and Baby Doll. Opal, Baby Doll, and Iman Nude. Those have all come up to be perfectly fine. It's the color by the name of Rebel that's no good. Sweet Iced Tea was fine. And so Hot was amazing. So just to recap, that's the one that's no good. Rebel. I don't want to give Sweet Tea a bad name when there's nothing wrong with it. And so far, I have seen people swatching. And that's the hot one. I love it. So far, I have seen people swatch Diva and... I've seen people swatch Iman Red, and nobody has said that they're spoiled. So, so far there are six that I have found, and out of six, only one of them is no good. And I just forgot to return it, because I actually brought all the other ones I bought back, including the one I opened, and I told them to smell it. As soon as the manager smelled what this smells like, they gave me my money back. And honestly, although I opened it, I'm going to bring this back too, because it's spoiled, and it shouldn't be sold in the store when it's spoiled. It's a spoiled product. But um, all the other ones are amazing. Very much do. And I really love this one and this one so much. All three of those are really pretty. So they are a good buy. Iman lipsticks are far from $1.25 in the real world. Only in Dollar Tree can you get a beautiful brand name lipstick like that for a buck and a quarter, guys. The next couple of items that I want to share with you guys are part of their new dishware collection. Do you guys see how gorgeous these are? I totally love the little home sweet home plates. There are a couple of choices in the towels. There is one that says home sweet home, and then one that just carries the florals over onto a towel. Now they're giving us two styles with every set, which I'm kind of finding interesting. And then they have this pretty floral oven mitt. I have a funny feeling that there's going to be one that says home sweet home coming out as well. And I absolutely love these plates. I did get three so that we can use them as um, lunch plates. Or if I'm setting like a full table, I can pair these up with my teal plates. I didn't like how the full collection looked. Felt like it was way too 90s matchy matchy for me, but I really love the home sweet home plate paired up with just a plain teal plate. And that's how I'm going to use them for, like I said, either lunch or if I'm doing a full tablescape over my existing plates. But how cute is that home sweet home? Really adorable. I mean, you can even pop this up in a dish stand for decor purposes. That that would even be really cute with my bunnies. They're just really nice. Do you guys know that I'm never done decorating until there's not a single inch of space left? But I may, I may end up putting one here. I may end up putting one here with the bunnies. I like how it looks. I, I showed this in my walkthrough and I did pick one up as a gift. Um, isn't that kind of hilarious, you guys? It is a condiment dipping clip. It fits most vents, easy to eat in your car. That is so, so funny. But actually, there are people that could really get use out of this. I have a friend that is an outside sales rep, and they're always eating in their car. And I feel like she would really enjoy this um, as a little kind of a gag gift. So I picked it up for her. You guys know that I honestly cannot pick up any more sunglasses and that I really shouldn't pick up any more sunglasses, but I did. I could not help these rose tinted glasses because, wow, these make me ultra happy. Looking at the world through shades this color makes everything seem palatable. <laughs> oh my gosh, this tint of sunglass shade is literally like a mood stabilizer. I feel like I just took an antidepressant. Wow. I love, love, love these sunglasses. Actually, I love how they look too, but they actually make me feel like everything is better. The whole world is better. I live in a mansion when I put these sunglasses on. I'm skinny and I'm a millionaire. I don't know. They make everything better. So who doesn't need sunglasses like that? For real, you guys. Then I had to pick these up. These are absolutely gorgeous. I'm not really going to put them all the way on because I bought them to put 
in a giveaway. And I absolutely love, 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 love them. They're so beautiful. I think the person who wins these is really going to love them. I feel like they came from a nice brand name. It has since been removed. It doesn't say who, who made these, but these are really a pretty, pretty pair of sunglasses. So like I said, these are in a giveaway. They are absolutely gorgeous. Then you guys, by Cala Beauty, I did show this in my previous walkthrough. I saw Shelby from A Chick Plus 3 haul this and I was like drooling. I was like, what? What? Where are those? Why have they not come to my Dollar Tree yet? And I was on a mission to find them. And you guys, I found a few um, beautiful rose quartz brushes, which I don't have for some weird reason here, but I only found one of this brush and I was devastated that I didn't find more. Isn't that brush gorgeous? Absolutely drop dead gorgeous. The packaging is off the hook gorgeous, but the brush itself, it's from, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I wish I had found more so I could share, but I am going to have to keep one for myself. I wanted it so badly. I only found one. These are amazing. I'm on the hunt for more. On the hunt for more of these. Look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. And it says V Contouring 755. I just really love the way that this brush is shaped. It's very like, very fancy. It's very, very fancy. And it says so because it says Pro Black. It says it like V Contouring Brush Professional. It's, it's just, it says makeup. And it also says makeup artistry. I don't know. It's got very fancy schmancy packaging like a lot of the Cala products do. And I was thrilled when I found this, you guys. Thrilled. I did find some fiery facets back on the shelf in one of my local Dollar Trees. Not to be confused with Fearless Fuchsia. This is fiery facets. It is number 1697. It is a beautiful color, somewhere between red, pink, magenta, everything, all in one. It kind of like becomes whatever color will look beautiful on each person's lips. This is like magic lipstick, in my opinion. And it does have a glitter side and a lipstick duo side. And this is also going to be in a future giveaway because I never found a ton of these. And when I stumbled across a couple more, I picked them up for a giveaway. I do have one that I have used that's mine. And if I remember to put a swatch of what it looks like, I'll put it up in case you guys have never seen it. But it's a really beautiful lipstick that doesn't look anything like the swatch, honestly. Every single person that I've seen put it on their lips, it looks different. And it, it just... I don't know. It's a really, really interesting lipstick that I feel anybody that gets will ultimately end up loving. It does have the glitter side and the lipstick side, and you could do them separate or together, and they kind of morph to a beautiful color on each person's body chemistry. By Hard Candy, that is an absolutely gorgeous lipstick. A couple of boring items that I picked up are my favorite precision screwdriver set from the Dollar Tree because I always lose these even though I have a designated drawer just for them. Other people never put them back in my house, namely my son. So I'm always picking these up pretty much anytime I need to change the battery for something. I go into the designated drawer and they're not there. I'm about to make a secret designated drawer just for Marina because you need these for almost everything you buy these days to change the batteries out. So you have to have them. And these are magnetic right there. Not all of them are, you guys. And when you get the pack that's non-magnetic and you drop one of those tiny little screws, it's very annoying. Let me just say that much. And then, guys, last but not least, I have these tropical solar lights that this is the first year they made. I just want to put them in a drink with a big straw. Don't they, like, just give you, like, vacation, summertime vibes? I love these. They're so so darn cute. Absolutely. I love solar lights. 
period, end of discussion, solar lights sell to me every single time. I'm always sold on those. And I'll also shine these in the dark so you could see what they look like and what kind of light cast they do. But it works really well. I will light this up in a dark room so you guys get a better idea of what they look like lit up and how much light they actually cast. But there was absolutely no way that I was passing these up. So I picked up six altogether. And I'm probably going to put them around my hot tub. They're really adorable. I did pick up some kids books, hardcover. This one was originally $17.95 by Starfish Bay Children's Books for the Joy of Reading, it says on the back. And the name of the book is called All Shoes Come in Twos. Isn't that a cute title? And it the it's really cute. The book is just cute look at how pretty the drawings are on the inside there's a whole story about a shoe that's missing its mate I know any little kid that gets this book is gonna absolutely love it the, the artwork is beautiful then I picked up several copies of this Hatchimals collectibles the official collector's guide because uh Easter baskets are all about eggs and Easter and bunny egg hunts and what better book to put in your Easter basket than this one? And this is a brand name book from the book section. Let's see how much this retailed for. I mean, kids love Hatchimals. Last year, they actually had tons of Hatchimals in the Dollar Tree. They haven't brought them this year, which was kind of a bummer. I was hoping that that was going to happen all the time, but I really think it happened because of COVID. Originally, this book was $12.99 right there. And to be able to get it, for $1.25 for kids that are into Hatchimals, which is a lot these days, they're going to love it. It has all the names of all kinds of Hatchimals. So fun. Really a cute book for $1.25. I know kids are going to snatch these up. Then we have this super cute book. This one happens to be one of my favorite. It's called McToad Moe's Tiny Island. By the title of this book alone, you know this book is a good time. This toad right here mowed Tiny Island. I don't know, but it doesn't sound good. It says right here, every day of the week, he mows the grass on Big Island. But Thursday is the day he mows Tiny Island. Look at that. I don't know. This book is really cute. I feel like kids are really going to get a kick out of this book. And probably learn a whole lot about, you know, size, tiny, and large. And, and then it goes on to say, like, how the lawnmower gets to Tiny Island, an airplane. And just, it's just a really cute story. I'm sure, I'm sure kids are going to love it. It's really a cute book. Super cute. I love when I find hardcover books at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. And I have boxes and boxes at this point. This one was $16.95. I just, I just took the paper off. This one was $16.95 originally. I absolutely love when I get brand name books at the Dollar Tree for a buck and a quarter. And then this one, I got a couple copies of also. It's called, Are We There Yet? Are there any questions? Everybody's experienced the Are We There Yet? Look at the, the very end of the book says, let's do it again. How cute is that? And there's like a whole maze for the kids to do. Um, it's just a super cute book, and this one was originally $16.99, again, $1.25 at the Dollar Tree, hardcover book, unbeatable. This book, this book right here, Tuesday Tucks Me In, made me cry hysterical in the middle of the Dollar Tree. This is a beautiful book, you guys. If you have a child that has a family member that has, I'm going to cry again, <laughs> that has maybe, that has maybe gone away um, and done service for his country and come back not the same. This book would be the kind of book that that kid would need. It's a really good book. I wish I could buy tons of these and share them with people who might have PTSD or kids that might be experiencing a parent who has PTSD or maybe drug or alcohol addiction due to going away for our country because this book is really, really well done. It's, so the book is called Tuesday Tucks Me In. <sighs> okay, I'm going to try not to cry. 
Tuesday tucks me in the loyal bond between a soldier and his service dog. I can't. It kills me. It kills me. It kills me. So this is the first page, right? And it just gets you. It really gets you. It's perfect for a child. It's like told so perfectly for a child to understand from the dog's perspective. It's really marvelous. It says in the morning, every morning, my friend Lewis wakes up to this. And it's the dog telling us the story of what Lewis and he do every day. And then it says rise and shine. I tell him with a look. The sun is up. It's time. Okay, okay. You're right. Hug first. How beautiful is that? It says he has daytime nightmares too called flashbacks. He gets nervous when people are around or there are sudden movements or loud sounds. That's life in the city though. So each morning we sit together outside our apartment building waiting until his breathing and heartbeat tell me he's calm. Then I walk beside him always on his right side so Lewis knows that I'm there. Isn't this book beautiful? I just, I can't. I can't. This is the kind of stuff that just makes me cry. This book has made me cry hysterical twice. Uh, and then they take the subway. It's just a wonderful, wonderful book. And I know, I hope, I bought three copies of this. I just hope that it lands in the right hands because it's a beautiful book. Um, such a great book. If somebody out there needs this book and you never heard about it, look it up. It can't be a lot on eBay. There are kids out there that need information like this fed to them from a child book type perspective. It's really a good, good book. I was really amazed that that was in the Dollar Tree. That's it, guys. That's everything I have room to share in this video today. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. If you did enjoy the haul, please remember to... Give my video a huge thumbs up and share my video so that it can get put out into the algorithm and more and more people can come and join our little growing family. I do have a bunch of giveaways going on on my channel and I will be announcing an awesome giveaway very, very soon. So make sure to be subscribed to the channel or you won't be eligible and tell your friends so they can get in on the action. Who knows? Maybe they'll win and share with you. And as always, guys, stay safe and stay Stay savvy. Bye-bye.